How's it going everybody? My name is John Hammond and I wanted to show you now in this video more of the last CTF uh, challenges and stuff. Um, all the challenges that I've solved so far have been really simple and I figured I was going to try and go through them and uh, actually create a like little get flag script as to how I actually solved all of them. So the ones that I have completed, I normally in a, in a folder that I keep track of everything for a CTF, uh, I would try to create a get flag script that will actually just return the flag for us in some either way. So I tried to do this for all the ones that I have completed right now, like the easy one, easy.exe. It was just a simple strings thing. So every time get flag, it's actually just the same output or whatever I need to do to actually display the flag out. So if I were to just simply run get flag to sh, it uh, gives me the flag. Now, an earlier one that I solved was the uh, easy symbols. And that one was Morse code, right? Whenever we opened up I can get some blind text open for us. I should be able to open up... Where is this file? It was Morse code. And I did that with an online tool, but since I want to create this get flag script, I need to be able to actually do that Morse code translation in a script. And I wanted to do that in Python. So what I did was I went ahead and Googled Python Morse code. And actually the first thing I found, I kind of just wanted to steal. So that one I didn't end up using. I actually ended up using the simple one in, in Git because I thought it was a little cleaner and did more of what I needed it to do. So I literally, <laughs> literally just stole this code. And let's actually work with it. Let's go ahead and create a, in our last CTF folder, let's go ahead and create one in our easy symbols thing. Let's just call it Morse code dot pi. And I will go ahead and add our shebang line. And I will actually remove my name from the stuff that file output ex like exercises for us because I will actually finish this with everything that the guy had uh, displayed for us that, that I found online. And I'll throw the link in there. Okay, now I'll actually start to clean this script up, because if I'm going to steal it, I might as well at least make it clean. Um, I noticed it is nowhere near Pep8 standard compliant, so I figured I'd fix that. So everything that I have selected, let's try and remove whatever is in there. I want to remove that trailing space. So what I did was I took regular expression matches this, and... Oh, I forgot to... Uh, Wrap those in parentheses there, so it will regular expression replace those. Morse alphabet needs to have a space afterwards. That should be on the same line, and we'll have to indent everything to go along with it. Looks like that is not spaced out enough, so let's bring that out a little more. I'm again going to do that with some regular expressions. Grabbing as much of the space characters as I can, I'll throw that in an expression, and then I'll replace them all and add another space character in there, so they're all in line. And then I'll close this space there. So now our indentation is correct, and this uh, Pepe compliant there. What is that error? Closing bracket does not match visual indentation. Should you match that way? Is that what you want? All right, it has to be just in line with all the data that's already there. Okay, that's fine. Let's add a few space characters in with all of this code here to make that Pepe compliance. That looks fine. Test code looks fine. Let's actually add another line there. Let's remove those spaces between those keyword arguments. Kill any white space in a line. Same thing with adding two spaces. Make sure there is no white space on blank lines. Again, and we're pretty good. Cool, so let's make sure this code actually works. It looks like decode morse is a function this guy created to actually decode morse code. It looks like test code is already in morse for us. So if I run this, it says, hello, daily programmer. Good luck on the channels today. Cool. And we should now be good. Let's use this as a module or some, as a library we can actually work with. And I'll create a new get flag.py script. I'll add my shebang line. Once my shift key works, that has like that. I feel like my shift key has like food stuck underneath it or whatever. So it's it's occasionally very sensitive. So let's go ahead and import Morse code, 
And what we will do is we will let's try and run. Actually, let's let's take the let's take the value that we're grabbing here. Easy symbols. Uh, it's out of the easy text, right? So yeah, you could read this from a file. I don't really want to. <laughs> a little lazy for writing this code here. Um, Morse string, I suppose, can be. What is it? What is it we want right now? Oh, we want to use our string replacing the ampersand character with a dot. I think that was the one represent. Yeah, that rep. That one represented a dot, a dash, and then the exclamation point represented a period. And we can print Morse code dot. Since we're using that as a module, we can run the function inside there. Decode Morse was the name of the function. And then we'll pass in our Morse string. Now when we run this, oh, 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 string dot replace. Why is that wrong? Concatenate string and none type. Where's that going wrong? Okay, after doing a little bit more hunting, it looks like the Morse code that I found online does not even support the lowercase letters. So let's keep hunting to see if there are things that actually do work with lowercase characters. Okay, yeah, this one this one has it all. Can I steal this? I'm gonna steal this. We and then in our Morse code library that we're kind of using. Cool, that looks like it works for us. Morse tab is the name of the variable that we were using, so let's just keep that there. Um, again, let's make this. Pep8 compliant. And let's make everything align again. So I'll just take all of the beginning white space and slap on another space character so that's all in line. And then we'll bring our trailing curly brace to the end with it as, w as well. And now we should be able to run this. Nope. Still not getting it. Hmm. Okay, after doing a little bit more testing and debugging, I noticed, since this is a recursive function, and we're getting these errors here, that, okay, can't concatenate string and none type whenever we try and return letter plus decode morse, blah, blah, blah. I'm assuming it's not starting with an empty string. Since this is all inside of an if and else statement, may not actually be returning a empty string. So just to, as a catch-all, I put a return empty string right here. And now when I run it, we do get the whole Morse was cool thing, but we're missing our L, Morse was cool. And I noticed again that, oh, it's actually testing this stuff with the character, with a space character. So I actually just appended on a space character, and then it gets the full L. So, not the best algorithm, I think, that Morse code is using. I guess that's kind of what happens when we don't write it ourselves and we trust someone else and someone, someone else's code. But whatever, we do successfully get the uh, Morse's cool flag. Um, yeah. So, that's it. We're done. I guess we did write our get flag script and we successfully stole code off the internet to, to work for us and ch cleaned it up a bit. But even then, it's still not the best thing for us. It took a little bit of debugging to actually get it to work the way we wanted it to. And even then, it's still not the best. But whatever. Here's our, our get flag uh, script. In our terminal, we can, of course, uh, make this uh, executable. We can chmod plus x get flag.py. And whenever we were in the terminal, if we were looking back at ourselves later on, we could use our get flag script and finally get the what we would have submitted in our uh, in our CTF. So cool. Thanks for watching, guys.
Hope you enjoyed that one. A little bit of more Python code and uh, stealing stuff off the internet to uh, get it to work the way you wanted to. <laughs> Good idea, anyway, to create a get flag script in everything that you do, just to automate the process of how you solve the challenge in CTFs. So, sweet. See you in uh, another video.